what's up my little tattoo tells how y'all doing today well baby uh, if you are kim kardashian and drake you have just been declared a certified loser by complex magazine and baby if you are kanye west you have found out that there is power in your silence you know how kanye is always rapping i made that be famous was he talking about Drake? Now listen, we all know Drake is a huge recording star. But like Complex points out, a lot of his mess starts with beefs. It starts with him getting messy. A lot of people said that Drake is a cornball and he has been doing this mess for years. The only thing is, along with the Kardashians, is Drake entering his flop era? Because this mess, him and Kim, people are saying that he tried to pull with Kanye really, really fell flat. Y'all, let's get into this. If you guys don't know, Drake sampled Kim's voice for his song, Search and Rescue. Talking about, I didn't come this far to come this far without anything. It's an interview she did while as she was talking about getting divorced from Kanye West. Now, if you don't know... Kim divorcing Kanye made him lose his mind on several levels, okay? We all know, right? Uh, what bef- but what befell the love of his life, saying no mas, no mas, no mas. Okay, right? So people were saying, what's the big deal? Drake sampled it without Kim's permission, to which a lot of people call BS, saying, okay, saying that is literally impossible the kardashians are so happy the kardashians will be happy to sue drake and happy to use it for new publicity come on if there's one thing kimmy cakes likes doing is playing the victim okay so all that is going on usually whenever drake even goes near kim kardashian kanye has a fit let's not forget where he freaked out a couple years ago on uh what is it on instagram going live basically begging drake not to come to calabasas because he has a family and he loves it i mean those were some wild times right everybody likes to look at kanye for his sisterhood or the traveling pants if you know what i'm saying but kim uh, come on looks like y'all had i don't know maybe they had an open marriage but it was just halfway open i don't know i don't know that, that's just my speculation but let's get back into this right so anyway, um, Drake released that album uh, with that song as a single, and usually it would have gotten Kanye in an uproar. Kanye would have went on an Instagram rant, he would have went this, and he would have gotten Drake so much free publicity. The only thing Drake didn't count on is the fact that Kanye is occupied by his wife, the one Miss Bianca Sensori. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people have been asking, is that just a real marriage? Is Kanye just using Bianca because he don't want to be alone? And, you know, she's like Kim, I don't know, like a a, a version of Kim. To which I think Drake might have been thinking the same thing. Yeah, that net ninja says he's married. However, you know, we all know Kim's a love of his life, so I'm just going to go harass him about Kim and he's going to freak out. I think Drake was actually shocked to see that usually the stick he pokes Kanye with came back nothing, okay? So Kanye was curtains. Drake and Kim, and this is where people were saying Kim is involved, decided to up the ante. We all know that Kim does not do anything by accident. Everything is thoughtfully planned out months in advance. If her type A personality and Kris Jenner can be believed, okay? Right after that, Kim, after he did the search and rescue, posted a picture of herself um, on uh, Instagram talking about some Fast and Furious. She was in Tokyo, the little go-kart thing. Okay, fine. To which I was like, I mean, whatever. Hundreds of thousands of people do that a year, right? No biggie. However, not even a day later, Drake dropped this album art for Search and Rescue with a Kim Kardashian lookalike in the same, the same go-kart, like, what do you call it? Um... And the same motorcycle helmet that Kim had when she had a fa- when she had a close up saying Fast and Furious. Now, if you guys don't believe that Kim and Drake planned this out, then I have a bridge to sell you in Manhattan. I'll even take off points because it's littered with bottles, y'all. Honestly. To me, it looks like they planned this out. It looks like it was a media rollout. We all know that the Kardashians are super close. According to Kanye, they're so close. Chris, Drake basically had his way with the family, which if you know anything about the Kardashians, it's not so far fresh. And when I say the family, I mean even Chris Jenna. Okay, 
so that all happened so basically it was supposed to be a rollout kim was helping drake drake was helping kim who knows okay but it was definitely a rollout of some sorts well baby that rollout fell so 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 short even even kardashian even complex magazine agreed that these little antics fell so short they literally said the drake search and release was an epic fail they said what everybody else felt drake is a cornball of egg proportions and while he's been getting away with this for years people are tired of his drama act but listen to the words complex actually says because that's what gets me hold on y'all listen to this much they said on search and rescue drake sounds uninspired he says come and rescue me take me out to to the club take me out the trap take me off the market take me off the map he cruises they said drake was playing the damsel he often acts like he's trying to save no they didn't they said the lyrics are an afterthought he put more energy into troll style marketing for the track than its actual content resulting in a below average song that's bogged down by the pettiness that powered its roll off They said Search and Rescue is a less inspired elevate ada da 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 da. They said following the first verse, Drake samples the clip from a serious finale keeping up with the Kardashians where Kim is talking about getting divorced. Kim said, "I didn't come far just to come this far and not be happy." Before the track's release, Drake's dad commented saying that his son wasn't trolling Ye and it was just a song, but the two rappers history suggests otherwise. Okay, first of all, you know, we're not even going to comment on Drake's daddy. But can we just say this, right? Kim, like they said, Drake and Ye's feud is well documented and many have speculated it's because of rumors Drake was allegedly intimate with Kim, Chris, Kylie, Kendall in the past. You know what though? Everybody on the list, well, Chloe, I don't even think Chloe got standards. Chloe was probably, mm, you know, let me shut up. But the only person that is a maybe is a is Courtney, right? And let's not act like Courtney wasn't out in these streets before she met the love of her life. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So anyway, right? Um they're saying uh we know that Drake and uh we know that Drake, we know that Kanye, we know that Kim all have history. They know they have history. Kim carefully manages and controls every aspect of her image. Please believe that if Drake violated in any way, there would be double h h e double hockey sticks to pay. So why doesn't Kim care now? Why did Kim post that picture? We also know that Kim Kanye loves go karts. Kim and Kanye have been documented spending lots of time with go karts. The Drake used a Kim Kardashian look alike and her voice and then Kim posted something on Instagram. And then Kim posted something on Instagram just to make sure in her heavy-handed way that we understood. You guys, listen. I'm not saying that Drake's album deserved a flop. I am saying that Kanye has 100% realized his power in the fact of literally even by cursing people out and giving them attention, he gave them power. He gave them focus, y'all. It's so interesting to see how many people tied their PR campaigns and their marketing campaigns to let's make Kanye mad and now that he is doing what everybody in the world critics and fans alike said he should do sit down enjoy his life and shut up now we're trying to see like literally <laughs> the what and who is really popping like that You know what they say 2023 the real is on the rise. Let's see who's really rising and who's just talking mess. Anyway y'all, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.